You've reached Nigel. I wanted to do a quick video uh, to go with a an article or a series of articles that I had written for LinkedIn on 3D printing. This is a quick video just to uh, talk about files that we create or I created that are actually unprintable. Uh, I use a couple of programs uh, to highlight how why some files print. A lot of times people br blame the printer itself when in fact it isn't the printer, it is uh, how the file is created. This is one of my designs, it was a handle for a cabinet and it actually didn't print very well and it threw me for a loop for a while until I, I started to investigate the actual file itself. In Mesh Mixer, if you open up an STL or one of the files and hit W wireframe, you can take a look at the geometry on this and you can see that it's, it's not a well-built design, which is why it failed. And it failed on the underside and it failed it was weak around the screw holes and everything. Uh, if you take a look at this, what, what we're actually looking for in a uh, on an object that will print well is the series of geometries or points on, on, on an object uh, as defined by these small equilateral triangles on the object. So what I mean by that is if you take a look at these open areas, um, even though it is a flat surface and by definition uh, the geometry there is 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 repeated. If you imagine an object uh, like I'm going to show in a few minutes, a face with nose, eyes, hair, detail, you know, you want each of those to have um, a clearly defined geometry so that the slicer can do a better job interpreting it for uh, when it's printed. And what we normally do, what I normally do is to turn this into uh, a printable file is to go to edit and I usually close cracks, but on this I'm not going to do that. Make solid, and excuse my slower MacBook Pro, and you can see already we have a much better defined model. Uh, you see some of this ugly uh, welding, I call it, uh, a bit like a, a terrible welder's job. What I normally do here is I'll go to an accurate definition, and I start messing with some of these uh, uh, areas. For example, shell solid accuracy is what it, what it means, is, is how uh, accurate it is to the original design, and I usually increase that. In terms of mesh density, that is by definition the, the resolution at which you're going to print, the number of those uh, equilateral triangles that are contained in there. Obviously, you can go too far with that, and you can bump up file size way too much, so it's a happy medium. But I'm going to show you how you can reduce file size later on. One thing I do do here, is I will adjust the minimum thickness to match the resolution that I'm going to print out. Why do I do that? If I am printing at 0 0.1 or 0 0.2, why have an object that is, say, or, or an area of an object that is 10 microns, 5 microns? It won't print if you're trying to, if you're forcing out layers that are 0 0.1, 100 microns. You'll have terrible sections of detail and areas will split. Uh, if they're weakened and so on. So at this point I will update and um, you know that, that, that's the generation of a, of a more accurate file. Next I will export it and save the file. Now depending on how big the file is some of these can balloon up from really small up to two three hundred megabytes. Let me show you a, uh, another file. It's kind of a famous file and you can see in this particular file it's got a beautiful geometry on it. It's got those lovely triangles. It's a famous file, I guess. But, you know, when I, when I first rendered this, uh, I took the original file and rendered it. It became like a two, three hundred megabyte file, which uh, a slicer like Cura would, would choke on. Uh, so what you can do to uh, reduce complexity is to go up to filters, remeshing, simplification, and reconstruction. And I use, uh, I use a lot of these, but the one that I love for uh, simplification is the quadratic edge collapse decimation. And I do play around with some of the numbers, but just for a quick fix, you preserve boundary, preserve normal, preserve topology, and planar simplification. And take a look, we apply that, and you'll watch down the progress bar on the bottom. And watch the mesh as it simplifies. And you can see that it, it, it reduces the number of the, the amount of mesh in here. For a job like this, for a file like this, it would be perfect. 
So then I would save this file export mesh and you would notice the file size going down. What you can do is keep doing that until the file size is an acceptable uh, amount that the uh, slice is not going to choke. But you can go too far and you can actually return the file to the state that it originally was if it was an unprintable file. Anyway, that concludes that. If you've got any questions, uh, email me or contact me on LinkedIn.